uh, Katrina here from Rye Like Viking. And today I thought I was going to start by brushing and saddling and taking care of the black mare at liberty. Because a very wise horseman said to me, uh, his name is Warwick Schiller, that if you can't do something with your horse untied, you should not do it when they are tied. And since she now knows a whole lot of stuff from the ground, uh, if there's something she is uncomfortable with, we have tools to solve it and teach her how to be more comfortable. But if I was to tie her, I would not know because then she would be tied and she wouldn't be able to go loose. So I will start with the brushing and see if she likes it. I can also walk around her without her walking off or anything. Let's see if I can brush her feet. No problem here. Now I am going to apply to her some products who will help her summer itch and keep the flies away and I will see how that goes yeah she always shakes a bit when I put this on it's a natural product it's not supposed to hurt her in any way <laughs> like this so this will promote hair growth and now let's see about this spray thing this is also to keep flies away and it's uh, not a natural product but it's supposed to work very well. So first I can just do a bit like this and see how she reacts and maybe ask if she wants to sniff it or something. Hmm? She seems a bit skeptical. <laughs> Look at her nostrils there. <laughs> she was like, what is this? Might be she doesn't like it, but I can try and see. And if she wants to run away, she can just run away. And then we can do a couple of circles. And her option then is to be either sprayed or run around. Doesn't seem to be a problem. Yeah, and then I put the saddle on. No problems here either. Because if there were problems with saddling or brushing or spraying or anything like that, I want to know about it so that I can solve it and help her. But if she's tied, and especially if the horse is cross-tied, they really don't have much choice, do they? So they might be worried, but they are still standing still and uh, accepting the situation, although they want to run away. And since I have been doing most of the groundwork with the halter, I'm going to use a halter as well. And I have the halter underneath the bridle. Because she knows the signals with the halter. But it's a good transition from the signals you have taught with the halter. And to get them connected with the bridle. Or the bit. So I think this kind of saves some time instead of you are teaching your horse everything with the halter first, first and then the bridle, you can kind of connect the two things. 
And I do that by attaching the reins on the side pieces of the rope halter, like this. Because if I put pressure on here, it will both be on the halter and on the bit. And this is also kind of a nose band, but it gives the horse freedom to move the jaws and to yawn. I am very fond of horses yawning and releasing tension through the mouth. Because many horses can hold a whole lot of tension in their jaw. And by providing them with equipment that makes it possible for the horse to open the mouth, you are at least giving them the opportunity to yawn, lick and chew and move their mouth and get rid of tension on their own. And now I'm going to um, do the groundwork that I taught her, only with the saddle and the equipment on, and see how that goes. Because I'm not going to teach her any new stuff, before I am sure that she is comfortable with the equipment. So we can start with some hooking on and see if she follows. She seems pretty relaxed and calm. I thought I might lose her so that I could get an opportunity to ask her for some trot. But I can do something else. I can start running and see how that goes. If she's not running, so then I can ask for some forward. Yeah, good gear. she does not seem to be significantly different with riding equipment than she is without. But you never know, we ask for some canter. Nice and easy canter. So she is basically the same with riding equipment as she is without. So I can ask for the other side. Yeah, good girl. And see how it is on the right hand. Yeah, good girl. I didn't get all four feet here, so... I'm going to try to draw her again. Still not getting all four feet. There she is. Good girl. <laughs> yeah, she knows <laughs> what I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah, she seems pretty happy about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good girl. <laughs> 